Patience is also a form of action. Listen to that one more time. Patience is also a form of action. We've all heard this before. Patience is a virtue. It's absolutely facts, okay? Let me introduce myself. Great day, beautiful people. Sammy Farage here. In this video, I just want to talk about patience, all right? Be patient. We live in an instant gratification society. We live in a microwave society where we want things overnight. We want to achieve our health and fitness overnight. We want to get rich overnight. We want to accomplish all our goals overnight. But the reality is anything that is worth it takes time. For example, right? Females, when they're pregnant for nine months, they go through pain. They go through emotional pain, physical pain. Uh, for nine months, it's just like a nine month period of so, it's so consistent, but at the end of that nine months, there's a blessing. So if we, and I'm going to say we because I need to hear this too, if we commit to something for nine months, whatever it may be, whatever you're, whatever you're trying to accomplish, if you commit to that for nine months consistently, go through the pain, go through the uncomfortability, stay focused, you will reap that reward at the end of the nine months. But the key is being patient to stick through the process and not be emotionally attached to the result right the, the, the mom is not like man is the baby ready it's three months man i want to have the baby is it ready no she knows at the end of the nine months there's a promise you know i heard this a while back too behind every principle is a promise right so you have to trust the process at the end of the nine, that's when you expect the blessing because you know you've paid your dues so trust, stick to the process. Don't be emotionally attached to the result. And, and I'm a victim of this, man. I get so emotionally attached to the results at times that I get discouraged when the result doesn't come. But the reality is things take time. Shout out to Elliot Hulse. It's not about who you become. It's not about what you get in the process. It's about who you become in the process, right? So I guarantee you the mom going through the nine months of pain, uh, emotional pain, like I said, physical pain, she comes out a different person at the end of nine months. She's not the same person when she was nine months, you know, when, when she got pregnant. So we need to use that example in our own lives that, it's okay. Trust the process. Don't get so emotionally attached to the end result of what you're trying to actually accomplish and focus on who you are becoming. That is the goal during this month of Ramadan. And shout out to all of you that are fasting this month for the sole purpose to become a better you. Put religious perspectives aside, right? It's all about becoming a better human being. It's all about becoming more disciplined. It's all about becoming the best you can be in becoming self-aware, getting to know you. We know so much about the external. We know we know a lot about the athletes, about, about uh, our friends, about artists. We know so much about these people, but you don't know you. I'm a, I'm, I'm a big fan of, I'm a big fan of me because at the end of the day, when we die, boom. Did you just, did you just exist? Or were you actually living this experience, right? The reason why we should we should take advantage of the resources that's given to us is because to create a legacy, to to really make an impact. Because we're not, I mean, we're not guaranteed tomorrow. So why not make a positive impact? That way, when we're gone, we're remembered. Don't be like like they say the graveyard is where all the dreams, all the aspirations people had get buried away. That's the richest place on earth because people don't want to go ahead and share and talk and let it out and let people know because they're afraid of judgment. And I don't want to, that's a whole nother topic in itself, but let's go back to patience. Be patient in the process in whatever you're trying to pursue, right? This month, this system that's been given to us, Ramadan, is created for us to leverage to become better human beings and to instill patience in us, right? We go 15 hours a day with no food and no water and that's like I said that's the little aspect of it right we have to be disciplined mentally what we listen to what we look at not lusting you know just being aware of yourself and how you operate because we're so easily controlled by the external for example when a female walks by right I'm gonna be honest with you guys when a female walks by the discipline to say no I'm not gonna look right just just to do that you feel like you got that power to be like man no I can't look I'm just, even if you do it for 30 days right to just be disciplined to say no, because we're so easily consumed, we're so easily distracted, we're so easily swayed to do the things that the 99% of the population is doing, right? I like to be different, and a lot of people don't like to be different because when you're different, you get criticized, you get judged, you get looked at differently. <clears throat> Excuse me. You get looked at differently. As you see, I'm getting passionate on this topic, but I'm gonna wrap it up right here. Be patient, trust the process, 
leverage this month whether you're Muslim or not fasting I know a lot of people that are not Muslim that are fasting this month because they're trying to become better human beings at the end of the 30 days because we're given a system if you work the system the system will work for you in this time I just feel it in my gut this Ramadan is gonna be a transformative month for a lot of people, especially with what's going on in this this that, that you know what happened this year with the coronavirus. Uh, a lot of a lot of um, perspective shift happened for a lot of people, right? Not being able to do a lot of things that they were consumed by externally got to a lot got people to really reflect internally, get to know themselves because we know so much about the external, right? So this month, if you're really trying to trying to come out a different human being than you are today, you truly leverage it, right? And if you have questions, Google is your best friend. YouTube is your best friend. I'm your best friend. You can reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have. I appreciate you listening to this video. I'm going to actually be doing something very special with these videos. As you see, it's just me talking every single day, but I'm going to be bringing on some people with me on these talks to share their perspective, share value with you, because at the end of the day, it's making a bigger impact than just myself, right? Serve a purpose bigger than you. Peace.